What's good, everybody? It's Kejo Gaming, and we're back with some more content. What did you expect? We're back with some Norland. We're going to be continuing the tutorial, and I think, depending on how it goes and depending on how much it opens up, this might be the last day of our tutorial. So, the trader came back, the extra lord came back. I don't think we're going to grab him because we are picking up a fourth person because we got Voinus Fett being married off so we have the trader here uh did we already trade with you i thought we just bought some rings money's at 3200 i think we're doing okay uh we did unlock the prison ward we're up to 27 people three people are unemployed so we do need more buildings going. Um, the mill is waiting to be built. We got our hop field going. We got our rutabagas. We got two lumber mills. Uh, what about roads? Sixty percent. Oh, they're all sixty percent. Okay. How do roads work? Oh, like it literally just goes. Okay. Well, I don't know if that'll help with the travel time at all, but I'm assuming so. Today, the cer ceremony of the wedding will take place. Okay, they've returned to... Our... Area. Our province right this is our province um foreign trade marriage i think we're doing okay on items for now i would like to know how to get more paper if we look at knowledge lumber mill upgrade Lord creates a book, and it requires three paper. I don't know how we get more paper, um, but we have books of everything. I'm not worried about the scaffolding right now. I feel like the lumber mill upgrade is pretty important. So maybe we write a book based on that. Then we also need to f figure out how we're going to get more weapons and such. Um, we can get a drug den. don't have a warehouse finance menu at the end of the workday each peasant receives a wage that you have set in the right hand side of the finance menu they will then go to the market and buy one unit of food and with the remaining money they will try to buy one unit of alcohol at the tavern to relieve fatigue moderate mood it is sufficient that the price of the food is lower than the salary the remainder of the money they need about two to three days to purchase alcohol in the hint on the left, you can assess whether you are selling enough food and alcohol per day based on the number of residents. In the hint on the left. What hint on the left? The resident saving, which can decrease or increase depending on prices and salaries, and how many goods were sold yesterday to predict demand in the coming days. Prisoners are distributed food and alcohol for free. Okay. I want to look into... You don't have the knowledge for any of that stuff. Uh, the prison ward. Prison ward, we can put... Over by the lords, I guess. The lords home. So we're going to need another lord's house for her right because she's gonna be homeless if not housing lord's home how do we rotate with e oh we need iron for this oof foreign trading report 
63 gold for minus 16 moonshine. We're doing great there. Does anywhere buy rutabaga or wood? A lord has no housing. Okay, yeah. We do need to go ahead and build another house for our lord. Uh, so we'll just put you here. And I guess we speed up time. We're, we're not, we're not gonna hire you, dog. Sorry. Not interested. Game has been auto-saved, and just to make sure, it's Control S for quick save. Yes, it is. Okay. Should probably do that every once in a while. Okay, you're educating. Or are you... Who is educating? And who is getting educated? Because I wanted... I wanted Voinusvet to educate our king. You're unhappy, that's fine, you're leaving. Revoke lordship, appoint as heir, pass the crown reward, educate. Uh, what are you good at? You're good at combat. But of course that's the one thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you cannot be educated in combat. But if we go to here, educate. We can get you educated in combat. Okay. She's doing the book. We have three builders. Still have three people who are unemployed, which that is going to affect our migration. But we also have homeless people. Uh, so we need another dormitory. Um, we can put a dormitory here. And since we're bringing in a decent amount of money at the moment, to speed up the construction of the city, build additional warehouses. Warehouses function directly even without workers and you can hire additional builders there. Furthermore, having a warehouse nearby reduces the time workers spend retrieving resources needed for production. Okay. We'll worry about that in a little bit. I don't know how many workers the prison ward is going to take. Maybe we should go ahead and just get another warehouse. I feel like a warehouse in the center would be smart. And let's go ahead and speed up time. See if we can get some of these built. Appoint a manager. Uh, who else is in this area? Voinusvet? So Voinusvet, you're going to continue going in this area. And then things in this way, we'll put in Hanit's control. Um, you are producing flour from rye. Production. Flour do until you have... 150, I guess? Hire a free lord. Harvest the hops crop. Alright, well we can't hire a free lord now. Because the dude left. I don't think we really want to do that. Request for assistance. Alright, events for the current day. There's nothing in the world summary. What is this? Are you at war? From Dust Valley? 
Ooh. What does this mean, though? You require assistance. The aggressor's army... Basically, you have five, seven people. Ooh. I don't know, because then we... I mean, this guy's a good friend of ours, though. And you're neutral. But then he's just going to get stronger, isn't he? Ooh, what do we do? We're independent. Alliance head. Indep We're independent. Ally of Wind Peak. So you have an ally. So realistically, you should be okay, yeah? Think? We'll have to keep an eye on that. What, what are you coming here for? What are you? Just says it's traveling. He's Maka. Reinforcements for Wind Peak coming here. Okay, you got four people coming on in. Guess we'll see what happens. Seabrook. Voinus Fett gained a new level, teaching level 4. Nice. Okay, we got this stuff done. Working hours. Alright, we have one warden. We got the Lord's home. Taken care of. Uh, you should have a home. Residence. Perfect. You are no longer homeless. We're waiting for the hops to be harvested, which apparently is going to be in five hours. Keeping prisoners. We got more knowledge expanded. Awesome. Okay. King knows some information now, which is great. We're still working on that book. What are you coming for? You're a king. King of where? Enchantment? Reinforcements. Ooh. Is this another free lord? Coming in? But we can capture him, exile, or social. Goes to talk to Slatsovet. You are a part of Dust Valley. Down here. So we could capture you. Are you like a lord? You are. Currently a guest. They will be presumably home in two days. Why did you come here? You want to talk to my king? Hey, we kind of need stuff for you to do, lady. Um, combat is eight. What if we... Point us fat. Oh, but the teaching. Oh, we can get Draylin to come teach? Combat up to level 5. Command up to 4. So what does the teaching can pass on plus 6 experience points per lesson? And only pass on 1. But, how old are you? 28. Educate, Warfare. Let's do Tanit. Um, because that should, through doing the action, 
level up your teaching. Okay, so you're for enchantment. You're the same culture as Great Mist. If we were going to attack somewhere, I feel like we would want to attack in this area. So maybe we make friends with you for now? Poison? None of your characters possess the, possess the poison or trait. During this time, there were not necessarily good ones, but you'll have two deep conversations. The likelihood of a good conversation depends on mood, but nobody's green right now. Everybody's yellow. Mild fatigue. We should have alcohol. We need to be making beer. We're getting some flour made, which is great. Um, is there anywhere we want to really trade with? Maybe once we start making some beer, we can trade uh, our beer for some money. Good exile. What? What is um? Can we see guests? Yes. Usually guests have different plans during their visit. Some just want to socialize and play play dice. Some seek sexual adventures, and some want to bribe your lords, turn them against each other, even kidnap one of them. The neighboring king comes. This is a good chance to improve relations between rulers. Okay, so I feel like we should. Maybe do a flesh wolf hunt? There is a risk of injury. Um, Between kings, yeah? Let's do that. What else does it say? If a neighboring king comes... Okay, find out you how you can interact with them by looking at the options in their character menu. Excuse me. Can also give... Can give also... Lessons for a small fee paid in rings. Alright, well, let's see about this little hunt thing, I guess. Uh, daily statistics. Everything seems okay. I want to see these guys go to war. Matriarch will not approve of your assistance. Okay, good to know. Insufficient workers times three. The residents may be unhappy in leaving the city. Why? What happened? Is it because we built something here now? Um, in the center. Let's get Ziva here. We don't have anybody unemployed, which is good. What is our proje projected migrant? Still four. Still four per day. Slash Fofet and a wolf. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can assign warriors to, to patrols by placing daytime and nighttime patrol banners from the build menu. Each patrol banner has an area within which guards patrol. Night patrols protect warehouses and homes from crimes by vagabonds, as well as guarding prisoners in the prison wards. Daytime patrols prevent prisoner escapes from production sites and protect workers from flesh wolf attacks. Guards become tired from this activity, so the more patrols, the lower their mood. Rotation of guards among hired warriors occurs automatically. 
Where's this flesh wolf? Are we gonna be okay? I mean, it's two of us. Oh, our axe just broke. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Tear him up. Tear him up. If you're gonna hurt somebody, hurt Greenland. <laughs> Don't hurt our king. How are you guys going on a date today? He's busy. He's going on a hunt. Wait, did you guys win? Oh, he's fleeing? That's it? Okay. Who are you? Waiting to be hired. So we can hire this guy. Hire... It's only gonna cost three rings. Go ahead and do that. How? All right, their moods are boosted. Successful hunt. Upcoming date. Craving for excitement, moderate fatigue. You guys need to be drinking then. You have sexual desire, but that should be fulfilled here soon. You have a wife now. Oh, uh, we missed the ceremony, didn't we? Dang it. I wanted to see it. And now we have one person unemployed. The harvest should have happened. Start brewing beer. Establish a production of beer and expand the brewery. Create a do until 50 order to produce beer in the production menu. Do until 50. Okay. Now what? Upgrade the brewery to level 3. Ah, oh, it costs iron though. Okay. Although flesh wolves tend to stay close to the trees, they sometimes attack workers, especially woodcutters and herbalists. Set up daytime patrols in work areas. Warriors will attack flesh wolves as soon as they see them, but remember flesh wolves are quite strong opponent opponents. You can send lords on a hunt, but you can also gather a squad of warriors and attack flesh wolves via right click. But we took care of them, yeah? The stinky flesh wolf got rid of him. He's over here. Oh, he's exploring the forest. Okay, so we need to get some warriors. Army. Free prisoners from peasants. Why can't we hire again? Combat. Warriors. You can hire mercenaries. You can hire peasants. But you have to train them at the training grounds. How do we get the training grounds? Army. Okay, we need to find out how to get the training grounds. Maybe we can get it from the trader? A book? Maybe? What is nectar? Brewery upgrade three. All right, we need to start looking for some books. But also, I think we need to make some more money. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, okay, we're putting flour in here. And rutabaga. Giving us some monies. Uh, wages are eight per person. Price per unit, four, five. So we could do six per 
uh, units. Hmm. Uh, you're trying to hire old boy right here. It's gonna cost us some rings. Oh, the thing for um, what should I call it? Went went away. Are you leaving? Oh no! Did we get a freeze? All right. I don't know how far that set us back. Oh, they're going on the Flesh Wolf Hunt now. It's so annoying. I don't know why that happens. We didn't have any problems the first day we recorded. Who got wounded? Alright, they're both going on a date. Are you wounded? Minor bruise. Okay, sometimes wounds are merely bruises and minor cuts, but inflamed wounds can be dangerous as they can fester within a couple of days, causing gangrene. Gangrene is incurable and fatal, so a character who reaches the stage will soon die. To prevent this, wounds must be treated with medical salve before they reach that point. Wow. Okay, well good thing we have a few bottles of that. Alright, she's still writing the book. They're doing the dirty. Traders coming in. Still want us to hire a free lord. Um doesn't look like the free lord came this time though. Trade, Voinus Fet. What is this? What happens if we settings? What does windowed mode look like? Weird. Because full screen, I can still move my cursor off the screen, which that shouldn't be the case, right? If I'm in full screen mode. Hey, they're all conversing right now. I want to stay updated on that war. Books. Peasant's house, temple, training grounds. Here we go. That's what we were looking for. Wood. Right, let's sell 50 of you. Sell 40 rutabaga. Perfect. Now we can get the training ground. Economic report. Fine. Request for assistance. Oh, wow. The wars are popping off now. Alright. I'm just going to quick save as often as possible because I don't know why we're having the crashing issues. I also have a problem with my PC recently. Um... Dretton from Moon Realm is becoming stronger. Where's Moon Realm? Moon Realm this? Can't even see Moon Realm. Ah, uh, but the poor king's in my town. Hopefully he can get back to defend. Matriarch approves of assistance.
on local map. Create a new squad. Boom. We also need warriors and we need the training ground. So I don't think that's something we can really do right now. But we're trying to work on the training ground now. The training ground. Let's learn it with Tanit. I guess. Does Tanit leave once Voinusfet passes? Cause she's only here because she's married to him. Will she go back to her old house? How's that work? Oh, I don't know. You have the prison ward though. You have the warden. Two healthy unemployed people. But we're gonna wait until we can get the training ground done. Hey, that's if we have vagabonds. We don't have any yet. Vagabonds and cutthroats. That's if people are unhappy. Most people, ooh. Ooh. Some people are getting pretty low. Okay, we did trade again, which is great. Quest for assistance, we're gonna have to ignore you for now, my guy, I'm sorry. Start brewing beer. We're trying to work on that. Uh, create order. Okay, so we didn't get this done, sadly, because we had the issue. Get that done, and then we need the upgrade as well. It says to upgrade to level 3. Alright, it's been auto-saved. It's the morning. Alright, what are you guys unhappy about? Moderate fatigue, craving for excitement. So you want you just want to play dice, yeah? Play dice with Ziva. Bet will be three rings. Probability of Ziva winning is fifty six. But you're doing okay. Like if anything. Okay. You have eight, you have seven. That's fine. What are you- what's your problem? Mild hunger, mild loneliness. You'll be fine. Trying to get it to a point where... We can train up some troops and have some patrols going. What's your problem? Agnostic. Okay, you're just not happy? There's a higher chance for happy characters and those who have listened to a sermon of doubt at the temple to become agnostics. Agnostics maintain a constant negative thought. Negative thoughts from sins disappear three times faster, making agnostics useful for performing dubious actions on the world map. Agnostics are disliked by the bishop, and they have a strong mutual dislike f with fanatics. Hey, you're both agnostic. So you just need something to make you happy to balance that out. Once this hope for the future ends, I don't know what the heck we're about to do. You're playing dice. You got a lot of stuff queued up. What are you? Are you a lord for hire? Yes, you are. So now we can go ahead and get that going. 
World summary. No events. Daily statistics. Looking good. Level 2 brewery. Go ahead and try and upgrade you to level 3. Characters can improve their skills by learning with other characters or by performing actions related to that skill. Children gain several times more experience from training than adults. Find a child and start their education in the character menu. Okay, well there are no children. How do we have children? That's just like a random event. Um, higher. Sure. Cost us four rings. Go ahead and get that marked on off. And then trader actions. Trade with you. Because yeah, this didn't register. Oh yeah, it did. So we should be doing training grounds. Okay, let's buy five rings. Temple, peasant's house, how to deal with addiction. Teaching volume two, rutabaga field efficiency, secret deals. Conducting trade dealings with forest bandit camps. Allows the construction of pig farms. Stolen holy rings. Reduction of flavorful ale. Seeding, planting, and soil treatment methods that eliminate crop loss during droughts. You can have droughts? A special diet and mental state will help slow down aging, causing it to begin five days later. Only affects lords who have personally studied this knowledge. Oh yeah, dude. That sounds great. There, and that's only gonna cost us 64 for all that. Because we sold a bunch of wood. Alright, cool. So, knowledge. We, well, the problem is, is that's only going to be one book, isn't it? Longevity. Need three paper to recreate it, too. So I guess we'll hold on to that. Maybe that's better for, like, late game. Economic report. Plus 93 to our balance. Paid wages. Um, let's go ahead and save just in case we have any problems. In Norland, there are two main types of states, vassal kingdoms and alliances of free cities. In both cases, there is a head of state and independent provinces that trade independence for protection. Vassal kingdoms, crown sign. Uh... Okay, crown sign and wing sign are alliances of free cities. United by the force of the king, this aggressive action is not very favored by the matriarch. Vassals pay tribute in gold and lose the right to foreign policy. The suzerain is obliged to protect their vassals. These kingdoms can expand rapidly by directly conquering their neighbor neighbors. They expand quite simply. It requires having good relations with the head of the alliance. All allied cities are obliged to send an army to defend other members of the alliance. Members of the alliance, including its leader, cannot forcibly annex anyone. There are no trade restrictions within alliances, and the head of the alliance receives a discount when trading with other, with other members. So did something happen? Oh, Windpeak is planning to plunder Dusbit Valley. Well, that sure did, uh... Take a turn. Oh, we discovered Moon Realm, though. Moon Realm was attacking Enchantment. Vassal of Moon Realm. So Moon Realm won that. Alliance Head. Ally of Wind Peak. You're an Independent. We're all Independent. So maybe Great Mist is somebody we should go for first. But we need an army. 
We're at 57% for trading ground. Okay. How are we doing here? Start brewing beer. We're trying to work on it, boss. Because we need to get to level 3 for it, though. We can bring down workers. I don't want to do that, though. Maybe we build another brewery? Kinda need more rye and stuff. We're gonna get another harvest of rye soon. You take rye and hops, you take rutabaga. World summary. Wow. Treewood, neutralization order, events from neighboring regions. The capital of Enchantment has been successfully attacked by the army of Moonrealm. Enchantment has become a vassal of King Dretton from Moonrealm. The capital of Windpeak has been unsuccessfully attacked by the army of Dust Valley. Now you are requiring assistance. Dang, he's already trying to break free. Dude, we don't have an army yet. We can't help you. I'm sorry. We're trying our hardest. Build a mine, Dophila. The children are not being educated. Oh, we do have a child. Educate. What do we want you good at? Persuasion. And you have the highest persuasion. Okay. Promova. Oh, uh, we need to build a house for you. We need more iron, though. That's not good. Then we need to build a mine. A mine! That was my little Lord of the Rings reference. I didn't give much context there. But when Gimli, he's like, a mine they call it. You guys seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, What are we doing? We need a Lord's house. We plop you right there. Man, that's going to be all of our iron though. Not a fan of using all that. And we need to build a mine. Um, I don't think we have what we need for that. Production? Resources. Yeah, we need the knowledge for it. Diva is writing a book. Lumber mill upgrade. Learn. Not Gramova. She has Voinusvet. Yeah, everybody else is either studying or writing, so. Um, okay, Gramova now has a house. It's not true. That's resident right there. Okay, that went away. Now we're working on the mine. We have four unemployed people. New copy of a book is created. That's awesome. Another lumber mill upgrade. Daily statistics. What does that do, actually? Okay, allows the upgrade of lumber mill to levels 4 and 5. Probably not that important, but we did it. Expected migrant is only one now. wonder if it's because we have so many um, unemployed people. Let's try and get some more rye going. Ooh, should we put it there? What if we cancel that? Oh, man. Okay, there's a wolf. That's stuff down there. Down here. Uh, Ziva... You're in control of four. Buenos Fett. Hmm. I think I might do 
another rye field but up here well no we'll place it here because it says they can do an average of seven to ten buildings effectively production yeah but you're using maybe we just go with a hundred on flour because we're going through our rye pretty quick we are about to get another rye farm but need to figure out what we're going to do about iron Okay, but that's what the mine's for. Oh, does the mine go like here? Alright, let's go ahead and save it before we have any problems. Go ahead and speed things up. Braylon's finally leaving. Been here forever. Did you get your independency? No. You don't like us. You trade sells iron six for twenty four on a daily basis. Six for twenty. Cost of church intermediary services one hundred and eighty though. Uh, we could probably wait until we get our mine. Let's try and be self-sustaining for a little bit. Let's see, see how that goes. How long does this whole educating thing last? Is it just like continuous? Unemployed peasants can either leave your city or stay and turn to crime. Oh, we have a vagabond. Vagabonds will steal flour from warehouses, rob citizens on the street, and even break into other peasants' homes. After a few days, they may become cutthroats. To combat crime, deploy guards to protect your settlement, build scaffolds to punish criminals, terrorize the population to inspire obedience out of fear. Or simply prevent peasants from being unhappy in the first place. How do we deploy guards? I don't know. But maybe we should stick with uh, scaffolding? Of course, we need iron. Um, when the loving family considers your settlement big enough, they send you a bishop to you. Using the action button on character menus, your lords can confess to the bishop to remove their sins, as well as perform other religious actions. The bishop can provoke a religious uprising if he quarrels with any of your lords. Be sure to please him. The matriarch places great weight on your local bishop's opinion about your king. If the bishop dies an unnatural death, your relations with the matriarch will deteriorate by the penalty. Action. Social. We can kill him? Uh, spend time. Glados fat. Yeah. With the king, for sure. Um, where's this darn cutthroat? Who's being an issue? You. No. That's our person. Um, we should be able to build... Training ground, no? Oh no, it's at 99%. Workers have not received instructions. Appoint a manager. Appoint us vet. You go down here. Okay, plus six. Number of fanatics in the city, 0%. Bishop's opinion. New episcopate. Just trying to make him happy. I think that's the only one. Can it? We need you. 
to really focus on studying this book. I'm gonna have to force you to do it, I'm sorry. Need the training ground so that we can do guards. I'm assuming that's how that works, right? Combat? Where do we see guards? Oh, excuse me. Vagabonds and cutthroats. You can assign warriors to patrols by placing daytime and nighttime patrol banners. Night patrols protect from crimes of vagabonds. Vagabond is what we have. Okay. So. We need to... Uh, 20? 20? Oh, we gotta do some trading. Immediately. Trade for iron. The best price is going to be with Voinus Fett. Get that going. I guess we just speed up time. Alright, we do have a plenty of rye. So maybe we can. 85 required. Go 70 beer. 150 there. Did you have your conversation? Okay, we got that. Economic report, minus 75. Okay. Quest for assistance. Tree wood is becoming stronger and plans to annex. Is this tree wood right here? No, tree wood's here. Neutralization in order. Malachi is in a difficult situation with his neighbors from Death Valley. He's planning to start a war soon. It will greatly benefit him if one of the key lords of the enemy, Draylin, were to disappear. They are offering a reward of 900 gold if we off Draylin. Whoa. We could invite him to our province. And then kill him? That sounds insane. All right. Well, I think before we go any further, we are going to go ahead and end this episode here, mainly because my recording got cut in half because we had that crash. And I'm not sure how long this is going for. I think it's been about an hour, though. We should be about at the hour mark. Um, I think I'm going to look into starting my own colony tonight on my off time to see if it's worth it. Uh, just to see, like... Where we start from what the differences are and um seeing if we want to start our own colony tomorrow or just continue on in the tutorial as always i appreciate y'all for stopping by and i hope to see you in the next episode till then peace out y'all